finalists who are going to be competing in the real or fake Canadian Cities game. One of these two is going to be going home with a brand new 2018 Honda Civic hatchback. All right, from Hamilton, representing Team Russell Martin, we have Billy. And from Richmond Hill, representing Team John Axford, we have Sarah. Ladies, we gave our two Canadian baseball players a list of Canadian cities. All they had to do was tell us whether they were real or fake. If your player gets the most correct, you'll be going home with that brand new car. <laughs> Stay tuned, fans, because Russell Martin and John Axford will begin guessing in the next break. Good luck, ladies. So besides those two, what's another Canadian stereotype? Hockey. OK, we're going with hockey. Let's see what the survey says. Of course, it's up there. Now let's take a look at the rest of the answers up on the board. At number five, we have, yeah, we like maple syrup. And number two, we say sorry. You know what, though? I don't need to say sorry to you because you are going home with a new lawnmower courtesy of Honda Canada and four gold grandstand tickets to see the Honda Indy on Sunday, July 15. Thanks for playing, Chris. Fans, I'm back here with our two runner-ups for the Honda Civic Selfie giveaway, Cassandra and Wes. Now, in the next break, we'll be awarding Paloma her brand new car. But in the meantime, I did tell these two that they would not be going home empty-handed. So, it is Fan Appreciation Weekend, and I'm feeling a little extra generous. So, the Blue Jays and Honda have decided why don't we just give all three of you a brand new car? That's right, all of you are going home with a new 2018 Honda Civic EX sedan. That's right, congratulations guys. You just got an inside look at Kevin Pillar, and now courtesy of Rogers, David here is going home with a new Samsung Galaxy S9 and Blue Jays hoodie. Congratulations, David. And fans, you can get more with Rogers. Hey fans, I'm up here in the Jays Care Community Clubhouse presented by Sonnet Insurance with today's guests, the Peterborough Tigers. These guys volunteer in the Jays Care Challenger program, which makes baseball fun and accessible for everyone. Enjoy the day, guys. We have 250 WestJet dollars, and you can use those towards any WestJet flight or vacation package. So deal or no deal? I'm going to say no deal. OK, which suitcase would you like next? 33. OK, number 33 for J-Hap. And you've just won yourself a J-Hap autographed baseball, your favorite player. Congratulations, Connie. And fans, make sure you sign up for WestJet Rewards by heading on over to westjet.com slash rewards. Hey fans and welcome back to our top 10 countdown. I'm Nikki Jeffrey. Now beast forward David Pecan had many memorable performances this season, but the one that is our performance of the year is his incredible four goal game back on April 1st against the Reading Royals to help the beast clinch their first ever Kelly Cup playoff run. Here it is at number four. Entering the Beast's final road game of the season, Brampton needed just a single point to officially clinch their first ever Kelly Cup playoff berth, and David Pecan took it upon himself to make sure his team would do so. David Pecan, we are not worthy. Now, if you would like to purchase a David Pecan goal scored puck, then you can go over to BramptonBeast.com to place your bid. Get excited as we're about to enter the top three moments coming up in our next video. Post-game chat here with Nikki Jeffrey. Nikki Jeffrey is a uh, ringside right now with a Windsor Lancer. Nikki, thanks so much, girls. I'm here with number 20, Aaron Noseworthy. Aaron, it's 3-1 for the Windsor Lancers. That last goal from you. How do you think your team's performing so far? 
Now you were recently nominated as Athlete of the Week for scoring five goals in just two games, including a hat trick. That's insane. How does it feel to be rewarded this way? Amazing. Thank you so much for speaking with me, Erin. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you. I'll send it back to you girls upstairs, Sarah and Savannah. Thanks, Nikki. I think it's important to remind you that the last time these two teams faced each other was on January 15th, which resulted in a 5-0 win for the Windsor Lancers. So, of course, things are a little bit different here tonight. However, both teams are coming off of losses, Ryerson to Guelph and Windsor to Laurentian. We will have to see how the rest of this third period plays out. It's currently 3-1 for the Windsor Lancers. We'll see who comes out on top. Back to you, Sarah and Savannah. Thanks girls, I want to take you back to last game where the theme of the night was purple and that's because it was do it for Darren Knight and I'm happy to announce that the Rams were able to raise $5,000 in support of mental health awareness. Now tonight it is pink in the ring, I've got my pink blazer on, the Ryerson Rams have pink laces and pink tape on their sticks and that of course is to show awareness for breast cancer research. It's great to see this team supporting these causes like this. Oh, and welcome to the pregame show as the Ryerson Rams host the Laurentian Voyagers. I'm Nikki Jeffrey alongside Devin Sarges, Kalia Garcia Rojas, and Evan Furlong. The Ryerson Rams are coming off a 6 3 loss last night against the Nipissing Lakers and are hopeful to turn that around today against a 1 7 3 Laurentian. So